guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Mimi and today I am going to be sharing with you some of my March empties. So let's get started. So the first product is by Amaki and it's their Jasmine and Rose Nourishing Oil. And the first thing that really caught my attention about this body oil was jasmine because i love 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 jasmine if something has jasmine in it i'm gonna be more inclined to uh, try it so the scent i was really attracted initially by the fact that it was jasmine and rose i'm not a huge rose fan i like it but i'm a huge jasmine fan and i didn't really get a bunch of a bunch of uh jasmine notes Maybe it was just me. I don't think it should be called Jasmine. I don't think Jasmine should be included in the in, in the title because to me it wasn't a really strong at all scent of Jasmine. Um, so this comes in a four ounce um, glass package and it comes um, with a little dropper, which I actually really liked the fact that it came with a little dropper. Runs for $25. So that's a pretty good, a pretty good deal I think you get a good amount of products for $25 and the ingredients actually are organic except for the jasmine essential oil evening primrose jojoba sweet almond argan rose hip bergamot essential oil rose geranium essential oil jasmine essential oil and the bottle comes filled with rosebuds which is just such a pretty little aesthetic touch I feel I really liked it it was really lightweight I felt it did a good job at absorbing so it didn't leave me feeling uh, heavy or greasy after application will I repurchase um, I might I have some other things to go through before uh, I consider repurchasing or not but if you're thinking or looking at some body oils and you're looking at wanting to look for an organic body oil at a reasonable price another body oil this one I got a while back this is the beauty counter rose neroli body oil and I originally got this a long time ago in one of my beauty heroes subscription boxes and when I first got it I used it a few times and enjoyed it and then I just stopped using it I think I don't know why but I just I think I got other things that I might have been more excited about in comparison to the Amaki body oil I feel this one is a lot richer like a little more luxurious feeling um, on this skin and this one is a 2.7 fluid ounce and goes for $73. So yeah, I hope it is a little bit more luxurious feeling, right, for that price point. Um, just some of the ingredients, jojoba, sweet almond, meadow foam, grape seed, rose hip, sea buckthorn, argan, marula, apricot, bitter orange, rose auto, rice bran extract, rosemary leaf extract, sunflower extract, and non-GMO vitamin E. So a lot more oils in that. I really love sea buckthorn, so I really like that, and the rose hip and the marula. Like it, it left my skin really moisturized and I didn't feel an overly greasy or heavy feeling, even though it was a lot more rich and luxurious feeling than the first one I still felt. It did a really good job at absorbing. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. But would I repurchase it for $73? I'm gonna say no. I'm glad I got to try it out in the Beauty Heroes box. The next two items are by Audacite. I have the uh, GR&G, the grape seed and grapefruit, which is, is particularly for oily and acne prone skin. And then the other one I have is the the black cumin and cage for pimples so these are five milliliters and go for $32 grape seed grapefruit 
concentrate, put a couple of drops in my moisturizer, and then just put it all over my face. For the Black Human one, I used as a spot treatment. And I actually liked the Black Human one a lot better. Kind of drying out um, pimples or blemishes that I did already have. I didn't necessarily feel like either of these kind of helped prevent any new eruptions or anything like that maybe extended use maybe i need to use it more give it more time to kind of test out i don't really know if i want to do that though right now i i haven't i don't know if it's a pregnancy thing that it's kind of helping with breakouts or lessening the frequency of breakouts i don't think i'm going to repurchase these um anytime soon but um, like I said, I did like the black cumin as a spot treatment. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried any Audacite uh, serums that you are really loving or a diehard fan of. Um, or let me know if you've tried these and how they've worked for you or if you've used them in a different way. I'd love to hear about that. So the next one is a Meow Meow Tweet Tweet. The deodorant sticks, um, when they first came out, they were doing like a special two minis to try for like $10, I think it was. Um, and I, I had other deodorants to go through, so I didn't immediately try these. So I finally got around to them. And this is the Lavender Bergamot one. The mini duos go for $14. And the regular size is like a 4.5 regular size deodorant and goes for $22. I like Meow Meow Tweet Tweet. Um, it works It works well for me. Difficult time finding a deodorant that works for extended period of time over months and months and months. This is one of the brands that is definitely in my rotation of deodorants that I like and are effective on me. So, I do like it. The stick form, mm, I'm kinda on the fence about the stick form. I really like it in the little jar, the cream. So, well, what happened to my other one, the lemon eucalyptus, I pushed too much up and it's not retractable so I was like oh, okay um it was just I was trying to push it back down and it didn't because it doesn't retract so you have to be careful with these and just like really push a little 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 bit at a time so you're not wasting any deodorant because you can't um, it doesn't retract I felt like the texture wasn't my favorite um, it was hard. It says one gentle swipe and that's all you need. Mm, yeah, no. I'm gonna need a few swipes. So um, I felt like swiping like up, down, up, which is kind of what I usually do. The texture was a little bit off for me. Um, I got some kind of crumbliness and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So it, at, in the end, I had to end up kind of like rubbing it in like a cream anyway. So I don't think I'm gonna buy the sticks again, but I'm definitely gonna buy the cream version. So let me know if you've had, um, what you think of the sticks, if you have a preference, one or the other, and let me know what your favorite deodorants are because I'm always, I feel like I'm always testing out or looking to test out New deal. The next one I have is a little fragrance oil. It's by Kumba Made. This is in Lily of the Valley. One eighth ounce size. It lasts a good amount of time. And this goes for uh, $10 on their website. I bought it at Whole Foods. If you can find it at Whole Foods, they'll oftentimes have sales on their like beauty and cosmetics so that would be a good time to pick something up and the great thing about um, finding it in a store is that you can actually smell it put it on test it on your skin because I think when buying fragrance that's super super important 
um because it, it just smells so different on everybody and even like when you're reading a description of a perfume it might not necessarily interest you or you might not think that that is like a scent that would work for you and then when you try it on your skin you're like oh my god i love this uh, they do have samples available on their site for two dollars if you can't find it uh at a store that would also be a good option to kind of see maybe which ones you're more interested in and sampling them before buying a full size um so this is an oil-based fragrance and it's hand mixed in small batches and this is a obviously this is a lily of the valley so it's very floral kind of feminine um it's kind of a fresh greenish floral mostly a floral scent so if you're not into florals you're definitely not gonna like this one but they have tons of other ones other uh, ingredients in the essential oils that they use are um, organic or wild crafted so not repurchase this particular um, scent I'll probably explore another scent and see which one um, I like. initially got into Lotus Way because I was looking for um, a clean fragrance that I really liked and somebody suggested that I try this one and I really, really love it. And aside from being super clean and having one of my favorite fragrances, I really have noticed that instantaneous um, positive reaction to whenever I apply it. So that is obviously a bonus. Um, the anointing oil I really like. It comes in a roller ball application. So I usually just put it on, you know, my wrist, um, my neck, anywhere real experience, unconditional love for yourself and others, attract love and affection, enhance magnetism, charisma, magnifies gentleness, compassion, softness, and receptivity. <laughs> I was gonna say reciprocity um receptivity um so i definitely love all of that and want to um open myself to that and make that more available for myself it doesn't last obviously like a typical fragrance but in my opinion i don't mind that it has no synthetics no preservatives so that's kind of a given and for me i would rather wear something that i know doesn't have any of those things and have to reapply um anyway they suggest reapplying at least five times a day to really benefit so reapplying to me is definitely not a big deal and it comes the little anointing oil comes in this small little glass package so it's super convenient to just toss in a bag or purse or whatever um, and you can take it with you on the go and then along with that is the mist which I just love to um, spray several times a day I usually spray it in the morning throughout the day and then definitely at night my son <laughs> loves loves this so I definitely use it on him as well I find that the anointing oil, the scent of the anointing oil lasts longer than the mist for sure. But I kind of like having both. Uh, I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I haven't tried the elixir, which I'm super curious about. If you have, leave me a comment below and let me know how you like it or what your experience has been. They describe the scent as a honey citrus floral which I would say is pretty right on. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scents. So if that, if you're into like honey, citrus, florally kind of scent, and it's not an overpowering floral. So this is just the right amount of floral to it. So in terms of repurchasing, I am definitely planning to repurchase this uh, for sure. It's one of my favorites and I always kind of like to have it around so that's it guys uh let me know if you have any questions about the products that i shared and if you've tried any of these let me know what your thoughts are on them all right i'll see you in the next video thanks bye